Okay, so I had quite an interesting question the other day asked to me, and it's why do some gas masks have the filters on each side, and you know, why are some below, and what advantages and disadvantages are there, you know, something like that, to having the filters laid out in a certain way. So, what I'll run you through is the different reasons you can have filters in different places, and that's not even an extensive list. Some masks have the filters load almost at the front like there, there's been some prototype masks that have filters that load on the forehead or other weird places. But, for the most part in this video we're going to look at directly straight down or left or right cheek. The BM4GP is actually a really good mask to demonstrate this with because um, its filter can be twisted to go in either direction. So um, we can use this to demonstrate what the advantage and disadvantages are you know, for each side. Okay, so this is the mask on, and as you can see at the moment, if I just stand a bit further back so it's all in frame, the filter is directly underneath. So if I was to get a rifle, with the filter directly underneath the mask, it is still quite easy to look down iron sights. The filter doesn't really get in the way being down beneath. The filter also being below means that you can attach a hose to the mask fairly easily. There are hoses that load on side loading filter ports, but they generally have to be angled hoses. So, um, yeah, having the filter directly downwards means if you're a left or right handed shooter, the filter shouldn't get in the way. And it also means the mask's good for using of hoses with satchels. Uh, but the problem with having a filter directly below you is you can't really look down. You can move your head this far and it collides with your chest. If you look down too fast you might break the seal of the mask by knocking the mask away from your face. So that's a bit of a problem. This is why most masks tend to have the filter on the side of the mask that the shooter doesn't shoot from. So let's say left side. So, again I can shoulder the rifle very easily. Try not to kill the camera. But the advantage here is, it's on my left side, I can now look down properly. And obviously, you know, it's not on the side that interferes with my shooting. Or anything like that. Having the filter to one side doesn't really add too much weight to one side either. Because some people seem to think the mask is weighed down like this if you've got a filter on one side. But that's not really true. Uh, having a filter on, you know, one side of the mask is uh, not really a problem at all. It's probably the best way of setting the mask up. So, this is why lots of modern masks opt to have actual switchable filter ports, so you have a blanking plug on which side you uh, don't want to use. So let's say I was a left-handed shooter, I'd then convert the mask on one of those, I mean on this one you can just twist it, it's nice and easy. If I was a left-handed shooter, I'd then, um, obviously this is going to be really awkward for me because I'm not a left-handed shooter, but um, I'm not even used to doing that. But regardless, if I wanted to and I was left-handed, I could use a mask like that on the other side. But uh, as it stands, obviously, I don't aim like that because I'm a right-handed shooter. So, um, yeah. The advantage, obviously, to having a filter that goes on either side is it doesn't get in the way of your um, rifle. You put it on the side you don't shoot from, and it's nice and cleanly out the way. It doesn't really add weight to one side, despite what people think. And you can actually look down fairly easily. But as I was saying, as I was saying mod masks tend to actually just have two filter ports on each side, and then you just have a blanking plug to put in the side you didn't want to use to make a seal. And then you can swap the mask for left or right handed shooters very easily. The problem with having the filter down below is you can't look down. Um, and it is a bit harder to shoulder a rifle, but it's still very manageable. So yeah, that's why obviously masks have filters on the sides compared to the bottom. When more people used to use uh, hoses and satchels, which I've done a video on, obviously downwards facing ports are better for connecting to the hose, but now it really doesn't matter. Um, I think there's even some masks out there that have multiple spaces with a filter of blanking plugs everywhere, so you can have you know, the filter on the front. 
how like the Israeli civilian mask has the filter on the front, it's actually fairly good. The filter doesn't really block your field of view, but actually means you can look down better than having a filter directly below like this. So, yeah, there's your reasons, but you know, the best real setup so far for filters is having one on the side you don't shoot from. So you can easily bring up a rifle, lean into the rifle, get a cheek weld, and then you are able to aim with the rifle, with the mask, and still breathe through the filter. So yeah, that's why, obviously, uh, that's the different reasons that the filters might be in different places on masks.